Example 4. A person in a small boat offshore from a vertical cliff known to be 100 feet in height takes a sighting of the top of the cliff. If the angle of elevation is found to be 30 degrees, how far offshore is the boat? So for most of these questions, especially if they're talking about angle of elevation or angle of depression, that should clue us into the fact that we're going to draw a right triangle and try to draw as much of the picture as you can. Obviously, I'm not an artist, but I'll do my best here. So we have a vertical cliff. Here's my cliff that's 100 feet in height. And then we have a boat that's offshore of this cliff. So I'll draw my, here's my water. And here's my boat. And there's me in the boat. OK, so we've got the cliff that's 100 feet in height. And it says the angle of elevation is found to be 30 degrees. So that means here from the boat, the angle looking up to the top of that cliff would be 30 degrees. So I'm going to sketch that in here. And this is 30 degrees. So we can see that we make a right triangle here with the water here. And then here's our angle of elevation of 30. And then there's our 100 degree cliff. So we want to find how far offshore is the boat. So the distance that we want to find, our x, is here. How far off is that boat? So we can fill in. We can find one of our trig functions. So if we have a 30 degree angle, and we want to find the side that's adjacent to it, and we know the opposite side. So you're going to use a trig function here, a tangent. If you need the adjacent and you know the opposite, we can set up an equation, tangent of 30 degrees equals the opposite, which is 100, over the adjacent, which is x. So now we have an equation in which we can just isolate x. So we can either here multiply both sides by x, or we can cross multiply. It'll get us to the same place. So we're going to have x tangent 30 degrees equals 100. And then we just divide both sides by tangent of 30 degrees. So 100 over tangent 30 degrees will be our x. So if we approximate that in our calculator, we're going to get about 173 feet. So this distance here is about 173 feet.